Fans, on behalf of all of us here in XPW, our thoughts and our prayers go out to the family of former XPW World Heavyweight Champion, the late Big Dick Dudley. Man, the guy being half paralyzed, he sure just makes a mess. Ooh. Doesn't give me a mess. Hey, Mr. Black. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, hi. What are you doing? Nothing, I was just uh, cleaning up here. Yeah, I bet you were. Yeah. Uh, where's uh, where's uh, Kleinrock? Where's uh, uh, he, Mr. Black? He, he's on his honeymoon. Mr. Black, he's at home. Who's, who's on his honeymoon? Kevin. He got married. Kevin Kleinrock is on yeah. his honeymoon. Yes. He didn't like you to the wedding either? No, man. He, well, he got married. One of those Hawaiian ones? No, it was actually. Get this. You better sit down for this. He got married to a girl. A girl? Yeah, a girl. I guess he really wasn't gay. The Klein Rock got married to a girl. Mm hmm. Whole Jewish thing. I was there. They broke some kind of thing. They said Masatov. Or I was. Uh, they spoke some weird language. I don't know. I was. Uh, whatever. This but, girl uh, used to be a guy, maybe? No, she, she was a girl, I think. Just a girl the whole time? Yeah. But and Mr. Black's at home, you know. He, maybe it's like one of those. Um, one of those facade type things, you know, like uh, like uh, Rock Hudson and stuff like that, you know. He had, I, you he know, had I, big I, ones. I, I, I bet you they just talked yeah, to him on the honeymoon. Yeah, know all about clothes. it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, because, you know, I, I rushed over here because, I mean, I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, you, you hear on the news, right? I mean, what? Big Dick Dudley, you know. Well, yeah, Did you hear about that? I used to like that guy, Big Dick Dudley. What happened to him? Maybe he passed away, man. What? Yeah, yeah. What? It's just like, you know, I was coming to see Mr. Black and... And stuff like that, you know, and oh my God. You know, see if we're gonna send like a, some flowers or whatnot. You know, it's just like it's kind of it's kind of special thing to me, you know, because I mean, way back in the day, you know, when XPW was first starting out, you know, that, I mean, that was like one of my first matches and stuff, you know, was with him, you know, and it's just just kind of bizarre, you know. I mean, I think back to like when when we had that big show out there in uh, in Ventura and stuff like that, you know, it was just. It was just pretty crazy, you know. Should have been there. It was just like I, I was there. What do you mean you were there? I was there. You were at the Ventura show. How, how's that? I didn't see you. I was in the audience. You were in the audience. Yeah. Crack took me. Crack. Crack took me. Crack wasn't even around back then. But this is before he even met Mr. Black. Me and Crack went to the Ventura show, and um, we got banned also. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to know about that. I'll tell you later. So, so you guys, way, way back in the day, were already uh, big old uh, Johnny Webb fans, huh? That's yeah, pretty... exactly. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. So you, were, so you were in the crowd. I was in the crowd. I remember Big Dick Dudley. Hmm. Still. Hey, you know what? I got an idea. Let's, let's, let's go take a look at some footage now, yeah? because I got to see this. I got to see what Angel looked like back then. Okay, okay. I just got one more thing I got to clean up over here, okay? Yeah. I'll, I'll meet you right there. Back. I'll meet you right you, there. You know, the, the, the editing thing down there. All right. right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Doesn't give me anything else. Oh, forget that. All right. So now, back in the day, you know, when uh, when XPW was first getting started, you know, uh, Big Dick and Damian Steele, the, you know, they had this sort of like a bit of a feud going on, you know, and like Big Dick was like the big surprise of the evening and stuff like that. Ooh, big surprise! I. <laughs> see that no no i no no big dick dudley was the big surprise not big dick was the big surprise and I, I know oh. you think it i'm saying something but else. did you see it? i mean you were in the locker room there did, did is it true did he is that how he got his name I, i'm not gonna go there with you okay but you know this is just really crazy watching this after all this time you know i mean Ooh. this was this was a long long time ago that, he called that total penetration this, if i'm not mistaken right yeah it was but uh anyway this uh, this particular little segment here, you know, it kind of relates, you know, more to yours truly, because uh, we were in Ventura, California. Yeah, we were. This, uh, three, oh, that's right. Okay, so this is the one then, right? This is this is the one that you were at. As yeah, I, I was there. I was I was right in the audience. Okay, well you well, you got to show me this because uh, I this is okay, just I'll, like too much of a coinky dink for me. Yeah, crack. This is before crack ever met Rob. 
and I had just barely been going on a date with him, and he took me to this first professional wrestling show. See, so, there I am right there, me and Missy Hi, you know, she used to, like, always insist on me calling her mom and stuff like that. I thought that was a bit, you know, strange, but, uh, I think you I know. just saw myself right now. Where? Where, where were you? Hold at? on, hold on, let's see, let's see, I'll show you right now. Ooh, poked him in the yeah, eye. this 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 match is pretty crazy, you know. I got my I got my skull split open, you know, just like bleeding like a, like like a fountain, you know. And we were like going to the crowd. I mean, you can see it right there, you know. I mean, uh, look at it, it's just like pouring out of my head. Not a, not a good day for me, you know. Look, there I go, there I go, there I go. Where, Did you where, see where, me? Did where? you see me? Where was it? I was right there on the right. You can see me kind of. Oh, okay, I see it. You're the with the glasses, right? Yeah. Towards the back there. You know, you guys are band of Ventura, but after what? After the match, me and Crack were kind of like making out, and we got banned from Ventura too. Okay, I didn't, need to, didn't, I, like, I didn't uh, need to know that. Well, that, that, just that, that was unnecessary. Information, some, something you ought to know. All right, well, I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be nostalgic for nostalgia's sake, you know, uh, trying to, you know, talk about uh, Big Dick Dudley here, you know, and uh, this, this was just like, this was just crazy, you know. I mean, this was pretty much to, to see who was going to be the uh, the, the number one contender for, for the title, you know, this is like, this is like a big thing, so, and I was just lucky ooh, to, to ooh. even be in on all of this, you know, but I had, uh, I had the good uh, representation at the time. Of now, you don't know this, height. but the, the security stopped me, because, I mean, he hurt his crotch here, I was going to go over there and rub it and make sure he was okay, but, yeah, yeah, XPW I, security being I, what they I, are, I, they're I, pretty I don't, strict. I don't, need to, I don't need to know that either. But see, you see there now, it's like me and uh, me and uh, old Damien Steele. You know, we're all uh, we're all busted open, and uh, we kind of slowed the big man down because we were like double teaming him for a while. So like like right over my right shoulder there, that's that's you with the glasses. Yeah, exactly. You see me? You see me? I I yeah, I can kind of see that how that could be you. But you're you know you're rolling with the with the contacts now. Exactly. Yes. Look at this here. Ooh ooh, that was that was that was, that was rough. Cause it got me kind of low. Ooh. I don't want to talk about, you know, low blows with you around. Oh my God. You... Yeah, this this is this is pretty crazy. That's here. a lot you of know, blood. We were both that kinda... is a lot of blood. Yeah, we were both kind of bleeding a lot. Now you're saying this is yeah, this was in Ventura, right? Yeah, it was it was out there in, in uh, Ventura, the the uh, seaside park or whatever the place we got banned from. And this place, this was too violent to, for them to bring you guys back, right? I, I guess so, you know. And I mean, we were just getting started out. I mean, this is way way before you know we started having death match tournaments and, and crazy stuff like that. You know, this was like, I mean, we thought this was pretty tame, you know, but uh, apparently they didn't think like. Ooh, it. ooh, he's got you on the throat. Yeah, this the uh, thing. Oh wait, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Why is it when I grab your ass you don't get you get all mad, but when he does it? Hold on. Ooh. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. I see, yeah, I see where he has his hand. You don't you don't need to point that out. Oh, there you are again. I see you in the back there. Exactly. There I go. Wait. Well, now you're sitting down next to Craig. Wait, I don't think is that me. Yeah, that's you. You can tell it's you because your your head is in his lap. Okay, I see. But yeah, you know this this whole match was pretty crazy because you know I was, oh, I was, I was oh feeling my pretty, god, I was feeling pretty confident, you know. I I got my little my little cancer stick right there, okay, you know, you're... and I'm beating on his skull. And watch this. Oh yeah, yeah, right. A little little uh, seven samurai right dicks, there. You just big dicks, big dick with your big stick. Okay. Um. No, thank you. Um, anyway, so, you know, Damon Steele, he's all, you know, beating on me and whatnot, but I'm still feeling pretty confident, you know, because that was pretty crafty back oh, then. Oh, my. See, you got a little, little, little John Webb action right there. Boom, little, yeah, see. This is for the whole oh, yeah. web, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you know, you know, to, uh, in everyone's life, you know, you, you go through many changes and whatnot, if you will. But, uh, yeah, this was just little old me starting out way back in the day, you know. Me in there in the big main event out there in Ventura. Me and uh, me and Damien Steele and uh, Big Dick Dudley. Now, now, how'd you end up getting stuck with that thing down there? What thing? That thing, that, that beast out there. Oh, you mean Missy Hyatt? Yeah, her. But she was my manager, man. Oh, she was? Yeah, and I needed proper res representation, you know, so I could, you know, propel myself. Is this how you got in the main event here? Yeah, basically, you know. I mean, she, uh, she'd been around the block, you know. Uh, she knew how to... Uh, 
orchestrate things and whatnot. You know, uh, you know who to talk to, uh, who to uh, go out to dinner with. You know, lunch and dates, dinner oh. dates, a lot of dates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she was gone a lot. Ooh, that was nasty. It's a fine buster right there. But yeah, you know, pretty much it was pretty crazy action there. You know, it's like uh, back and forth between the three of us the whole time, you know. Now, who's a champion in this one? Well, nobody was. You this, was. This was way back in the day when they were trying to, you know, just basically it was like uh, it wasn't really a tournament. It was more like a series of matches that they were having to, uh, to see who truly was worthy of getting a title shot. And so finally, they decided to have a, a match between uh, Damian Steele and Big Dick Dudley inside of a steel cage. And the winner of that match became, you know, the, the first XPW champion. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't, uh, I didn't fare too well in this match. So, uh, you know, I wasn't invited to that, uh, that little uh, match there. It was uh, between the two of them. But, you know, it's all political and whatnot. Yeah, I know. You know, they were trying to keep me down at the time. But okay. now, you know, I look back at this stuff and I laugh, you know, because, you know, I, I ended up also becoming a champion. I mean... Think about it right now. Right now, you're looking at three XPW champions in the ring. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, who, then, uh, who's the guy right there in the in the blue pants and white t white tank top? Uh, nobody cares. Anyway, so um, this was like the the, the first time like the, you know what's wrong with him? The big dick finally got the uh, the title. Well, you see, it, there was in a in a previous show, uh, basically uh, Damian Steele's uh, valet through like this big old fireball, just just like what happened with you and, yeah, and GQ yeah, that, Money on top of the cage. He threw a fireball in his eyes and blinded him, you know? And uh, and still though, you know, he he said I'll I'll do anything to have a title shot against Damian Steele. You know, I'll even I'll even even though I'm blind, I'll I'll, I'll still wrestle you for the title. And and you can even handcuff him. So you know they handcuffed him and they, they beat on him for a while. But what they didn't realize was that his, his eyes had actually healed up and whatnot, and because, you know, he was Big Dick Dudley, you know, a big gigantic freak and whatnot, he, you know, he snapped those, uh, those handcuffs off like it wasn't nothing, you know, like it was made of, like, pretzels or something like that. And, uh, and so then uh, Damon Steele was, like, you know, he just, like, totally caught off guard, you know? So Big Dick just, like, you know, made, like, Ooh. real short work of him, and it was just, it was just crazy, you know? I mean, he finally, like, realize his dream and everything like that because you know a few minutes later you know he was the new xpw champion you know i mean he was like he was like the second xpw champion you know Dame steel he was the first one you know? big dick you know he uh he wasn't able to attend a show or two and uh basically what lizzie ended up doing was stripping him of the title you know and he wasn't he wasn't buying any of that you know he was he was pretty mad that they would just like take this thing away from him. So yada, 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 you know, they, they had a tournament and whatnot. And uh, I think Sabu ended up with the title. And uh, Sabu was Ooh. having this big Ooh. match with, um, with what's his name, uh, Abdullah the Butcher or something like that. So, you know, back then, you know, Mr. Black, you know, he wasn't exactly a, a straight shooter or whatnot. And I wasn't part of the Black Army then, you know. So I couldn't influence him into the doing things, you know, the right way and whatnot, the, the, the nice way, if you will. And so, uh, you know, Big Dick Dudley, he came down there to save Sabu, you know, kind of save the day and kind of just, like, uh, took out all the bad guys and whatnot. And, uh, Wait a minute, I just saw Crack there. He's no bad guy, okay? Well, you know, uh, Crack, Crack's uh, good people nowadays, but, you know, back then, he was just, you know, kind of like uh, kind of on the shady side. You know, I'm sorry to say it, but, you know, but uh, people change for the better, so... But anyway, uh, Big Dick Dudley, you know, he, he, he kind of came to the He's rescue of Sabu and them at the time, you know. Weren't you there helping him? Well, yeah, I wasn't part of the army at the time, you know. Well, I mean, I was, okay. I was just good old white trash Johnny Webb, you know, uh, doing my own thing. And, you know, I mean, e even though I'm, you know, watching my boss get beaten up, you know, it, it's still, you know, in a way, it's, it's just kind of good to see, you know, Big Dick back, you know, when he was in his prime, you know kicking butt and whatnot, you know? I'm, I'm really going to miss him.
Come on, we get to get Lizzie! Is this break gone or you're just too heavy? Because I can't push this. In. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm doing. I want. I want to talk to her. I'm, uh, we're doing so good with the, the the therapy, you know. I'm I'm getting some movements back, and my face isn't all distorted all the time, looking like that guy in that other wrestling show, you know. Angel, what are you doing? I just think. Just... Just... Okay. Lizzie! I'm here, babe. I'm here. Come on, Angel. Angel, push. Push hard, Angel, hard. Whoo! Who's that part in a while? You gotta push hard. Easily, it's loose. Harder. Harder. There you go. Whoo! Hey, baby. Hi, baby. 
baby. Listen, I got some really good news. All right. You know, the whole physical therapy thing has been going really good. You see, my face, I'm not all jammed down, you know. You know, I'm getting the movement back, feeling good. That's beautiful. I know, I, I know. do. <laughs> so, see? I mean, it, it's, it's going. So, me and Jake have been talking. And Jake thinks I'm going to be ready, all right? And, okay. It's 29th. All right. Tonight what? Well, June? Yeah. June. Already? 29th of June. I'm gonna make my return at FW. All right. Oh. Jake. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't told anybody. Really? Yeah. It's you wonderful. know, Angel. Yeah. I, I want, I want to tell you, cause Jake. You know, we, I mean, we were doing really good. I got up and I walked a little today, and I mean, I'm, I'm tired, but got up and I walked and we did the whole thing. And Jake feels confident that I'm gonna be ready by the 29th. So. I'm gonna make my return. So, you know, well, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful because you know what? What? Kevin and I have been planning for your return. We were thinking, and I hope you don't get mad, we were thinking of doing it at the Pico Rivera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The bull ring? Well, think about it. No, 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 and explosions, because when you come back on June 29th, it should be explosions. It should be fireworks. It should be pyros. Yeah. It should be a celebration. Isn't that great? Yes. But wait. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me, let me soak it in. And fire. Yeah, wait a minute. All right. Because, you know, I haven't been back in a while. Yeah, the fireworks. Explosions. Yeah. So like I'll Fire. come. Oh, you're great. So like I'll come out and you know like Roman candles, you know. So like like that stuff, like the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh. It'll be like the Fourth of July in June. I like and you it. You can't tell Kevin because Kevin wants it to be a surprise. What do you mean? Well, Kevin thought that it'd be cool to surprise you. Oh. But I know you don't like surprises, so you have to act surprised at night. Uh, so you've been working on it? Yeah. Well, we've been working on it, but we weren't sure when you were going to be ready. But now I'll tell him that you're going to be ready. Are you for sure going to be ready the, the 29th? He's good. He's been working on it. And a little bastard owes me, man. You know, the whole wedding thing, not having the ramps and stuff accessible for me, keeping me out. I know. I know. Uh, all right, I like it. I can't I like believe it. he had no ramps. I like it. All right. I couldn't carry you. I'm sorry. Pico Rivera. We could do the, Okay, we could do the Pico See? Rivera. Wouldn't that be great? All right, we could do it. We could do it. All right. Give me a kiss. Angel Willem over here. Oh. Angel! What? Okay, okay. Angel, like you've never seen this before. No, I haven't. No. Okay, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm. I love right. you. I love you. Okay, is she back in? Is she back in? No, she's back in. All right, take me away. Okay, I love you. I know you like white stuff, Angel. Uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Claus here welcoming you to X. Oh, my God, not again! What is this? This is one tastical. Oh. Rico. All right, everybody, Chris Claus back at you. Did you see? Did you see? We're going to be back at Pico Vera with all that duck hoo hoo everywhere. Well, the reason. What did you see? <laughs> Who made the announcement? I saw we were going to be Florida. Yeah. yeah. Lizzie. Lizzie Borden made the announcement. We're returning to the great outdoors. The Pico Rivera Sports Arena. Why, you ask? Several reasons. Number one, celebrating Independence Day. All the pyro, pyrotechnics, fireworks, and explosions that you can expect from XPW Productions. Number two, we're going back to the great outdoors, man. Before the show, a little barbecue to celebrate the return of Mr. Robin Negro back to XPW, man. It's going to be his first show back. It's got to be exciting, bro. We're going to be roasting the carne asada and everything. The, right the what? Carne asada, man. Carne, carne, carne guia. Never mind, man. Ladies and gentlemen, later on, we will be recapping everything that happened last week on XPW television. Not only that, we will also be taking a look at the match 
that determined the number one contender for the XPW television title. All that and much, much more, plus all the details on the June 29th Spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go away. More XPW TV when we return. I can't believe it. We're going back to Pico Rivera. Okay, so is everything set? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I know. I know how he feels. I certainly know how I feel. No, no, I'm excited. This is going to be... Exactly. I know. I think celebration puts it mildly. I, I mean, I mean, I really think this is going to be. It, it, yes, yes, uh, infamy. It, it's going to live in infamy. It is going to be just the biggest night because you got. I know because you're gonna make, you're gonna make it happen. You're definitely gonna make it happen. I look. I look very much forward to this. Yes, that's right. Oh, and I know that it will be a night that he. He will never. Ever, ever forget. All right, wonderful. Okay, I'll see you then. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Nothing like a little trip to the adult bookstore. Ah, transformation is almost complete. Ah, let's see, just put it down there. Tuck it to the left a little. Ah, pinch it right there. Oh, yeah, that fits good. That fits real good. Oh, yeah, the ladies are going to love me now. Oh, King Dong Bundy, they're going to call me. Look at that. Ah. Hmm. Now, what else do I do on a Friday night? I wish I had a date. Huh, who could I call? Now, before we get into all your announcements, dude, I want to talk about some of the disturbing things we saw last week. Besides that, we have information that Kevin Kleinrock, yeah, Dorgo Dude, married a girl. Es cierto. From what I understand, Mr. Kleinrock went off and got married. And uh, due to the non-handicap access at the country club, Mr. Robert Black felt, I gotta say, he felt like Rosa Parks. Rosa man, Parks? Rosa Parks, man. You know, he felt no love from Kevin Kleinrock, so I'm sure that the dark old dude's gonna have some explaining to do next time he runs into Mr. Robert Black. Well, but, I gotta say, the rumor you heard is the same rumor I heard. Mr. Kevin Kleinrock, believe it or not, fans, he is indeed married to a senorita. To a girl. To a female. To an actual girl. That's what I heard. Well, folks, even more disturbing than that, this apparent, this apparent change in, in Scott's not. I mean, we saw him last week in what appeared, I would, I would guess, to be his bedrooms with all these weird, very shady candles and mumbo-jumbo stuff going on uh, where he was located. And then you saw him trying on these very weird wigs mustaches, and then he was ogling over some pictures of Lizzie Borden. I, I, I don't know why anybody would uh, do that, a per, perverted. And I, and I shudder to think what happened after he did that uh, ogling. Oh, gosh. Don't you do that all the time? Anyways, for the past what? six months, for the past six months, Scott's not hasn't uttered a word to anyone. I mean, the guy walks into the locker room, gets yeah. ready, goes to wrestle, comes in, and leaves. Recently, this new activity, it's going to be very interesting to see where this, how this develops. Well, you know what? You know, snot wasn't the only disturbing thing we saw last week here on XPW TV. We saw Rob Black. I mean, this guy's gone completely bonkers off the wall, if you ask me. Signing, signing these guys to a contract here in XPW, I'm talking about the American Wild Child and Street Styles. These guys are bums. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What, 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 what are you talking about? You saw the footage. What are you talking about? You're stupid. Don't you know that the AWC is a thespian extraordinaire? His work is on Nikki, man. 
you see it all over television. It's just like he says, as seen on TV. Emmy Award nominated shows, Golden Globe Award nominated shows, and what about this guy? You told me his name was Street Styles. That's his name. We Street know who Styles. he is, man. That's not his name. That is not his name. You know who he is, man. He's the real Slim Shady, and he's standing up. He's standing up. Have you heard his new song, man? It's on the radio. It's all Kiss FM's playing it, Power's playing it, K-Rock. Everybody's playing the song, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. How could you not know the song? What? Like, this looks like a job me, so why don't you just follow me? You don't know the song? Oh, my God. The one song I do know, it's, it's not the one you're singing. It's I'm the real Shady. You're the, the Slim Shady. Please, please stand up. Well, that's the guy then. That's what I'm saying. You calling him street life or street style? That's not him. That's not him. I know it's not him. Fans, I don't get this at all. Folks, when we return, we're going to have that number one contention match for the XPW television title. It's not the guy. That's him, man. Oh, man. Watch the videos. The, the white shirt. What are you, some kind of moron? That's not him. It's not him. You better watch it, pal. You better watch it. I'm Joey Styles. Vince McMahon and the WWF don't want you to know what I know. I have secret sources inside the WWF locker room and inside the WWF offices. I have all the news that you're not supposed to know. Plus, all the news on your favorite local wrestling promotions. Call the number on your screen now. Oh, Lizzie, someday we'll be together. Someday. Actually, how about today? Oh, Lizzie, nice of you to stop by. Look at that beautiful hair. Those beautiful blue eyes. Those willing, luxurious lips. I don't know what you see in Rob Black. What does Rob have that I don't have? I've got the mustache. I've got the hair. I've got the total package. What's that? You secretly love me? What? You want to please me in any way? Oh, <laughs> Lizzie. Well, I know a way. Yeah, no, just go down here. There you go. There, don't fight it. There you go. Ah. Oh, there you go, Lizzie. Ah. Oh, I knew you'd come around. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels like a Hoover vacuum cleaner. There you go. Oh. Oh, yeah, Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie. Oh, oh. No, no, you don't. Back down. What? No, what? You want to kiss me a little? Oh, that's sweet. No, no. Oh, there you go. Back down. Oh, yeah. Stick your tongue out. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Lizzie. Ah, oh, Lizzie. Someday we'll be together. Ah. Oh. There you go. Stick that tongue out. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, because of their very, very impressive bouts against the current XPW television champion Chaos, Chris Hamrick and Psychosis were pitted against one another in singles competition to determine the number one contender for the XPW Television Championship. That's right, Chris. We now know that Chaos did not tap out and did not submit at Genocide. So as a result, the winner of this match will automatically face Chaos at the very next XPW live event, June 29th, from the Pico Rivera Sports Arena. I will give you all that information later on, fans. But right now, we're going back to Genocide to see the match for the number one contendership. All right, the match is starting right now. Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick going against Psychosis. But we got this. We Come on back here, man. Come on back to the booth. Rivera, if I can call you that. Okay. Here's, Wait a minute. I asked, I asked many a times who you were. I knew you weren't Rivera the whole time, but who are you, man? Who are you? Okay, listen, Cross, if you must know, I am the Juan, the only Juantastico. 
your who? Look, Ross, enough about me. Let's focus on the ring with these two superstars. Wait a Hammer. minute. Wait a minute. Hammer Did just you? losing his temper right Wait here against minute. Psychosis. Wait a minute. Juan Cash Tico. If you, were, if you weren't Rivera, how did you even get that job? What were you doing there? What were you doing here in XPW? Mopping the floor. Mopping the floor? Look, listen, get to the action. You got Psychosis in a side headlock now. Hamrick. Hamrick applying the pressure and in total control right now of the international superstar Psychosis. Fantastico mopping the floor. You were posing as the, the Rivera the whole time. Now you missed a spot in the men's room. Look at this shoulder block now from Confederate Currency. Chris Hamrick leapfrog up and over. Going for a hip toss, but no Hamrick with a boot to the midsection. Now another Irish up leapfrog from Hamrick. Going for the hip toss, and it was Hamrick who executed it. But look at this. Psychosis kicking right out of it. Look at the speed of these two. Psychosis, we've seen him in the past in all the federations across the world. Quick snap and arm drag from both men. But Confederate Currency, look at these two. Match for match, pound for pound. What an evenly matched match we have in Confederate Currency in his short time here in XPW has shown me so much. He's going to be a challenge for Psychosis. Wow, these guys just went counter for counter. No one getting the clean upper hand. This is going to be an incredible match. Speaking of clean upper hands, aren't you supposed to wash after the men's room? Focus on the match, guy. Focus on the match. I got the order of course, emanations coming through the broadcast booth here, pal. You should see a doctor about that. See a doctor. Hey, I wasn't talking about me. I was Psychosis talking about you. now on the outside of the ring as referee senior official Patrick Hernandez giving him the 10 count. Psychosis better get back in the ring. Well, Psychosis is just trying to get the psychological advantage against Hammer. That's what he's doing. He's milking the count for all it's worth. You know, if you step in the ring, you'd know what I'm talking about, buddy. Well, he's getting his respite, that's for sure. I don't know about milking cows, but that, for one thing's for sure, it's Psychosis going against Hamrick. Hamrick awaiting. And I think Psychosis, a little trepidatious now, thinking that he was going to take it to this newcomer. <laughs> Better currency, Chris Hamrick. But once again, Hamrick in a short time here in XPW has shown me so much. This guy is going far in the company. You know what? I have to disagree with you, Klaus. I believe Psychosis is a veteran of the ring wars. Of course he is! He's using this as a psychological tool to try and dominate Hamrick's mind. Well, you could have a point there. Nonetheless, these two, once again, pound for pound. I mean, going against each other now. Colin up with that side headlock from Chris Hamrick. Psychosis now. Referee checking him out. And it's Confederate currency, Chris Hammer backed into the ropes. Another Irish whip coming up, shoulder block, and look at that. Psychosis flew on that one. The momentum was incredible. Now look at this, Confederate currency going for it. Looks like a reverse Boston, no. Wow, a cradle, a rocking cradle right here. I don't believe this hammer. Where'd he pull that from? That's a, that's a lucha libre move, man. Hammer kidding Psychosis with his own tools. And Psychosis knows a lot about that. Once again, Psychosis has got to be in awe of the talent of Confederate currency. And it's possible maybe Psychosis underestimated Hammer just a little bit coming into this match, Essen. Yeah, dog. And now it's a chop from Confederate currency, Chris Hammer. Hey, you ever hang out in East Lowe's, dude? Now Psychosis really couldn't handle that chop. Look. Hamrick in control now. I, I can't believe it, but Hamrick's actually taking control. Wow, look at that. What a of the in international superstar. I can't believe Psychosis is in this predicament against Hamrick. From pillar to post now to the near side. Confederate currency. Oh, look at that. Up and over. And he landed on the concrete floor. Oh, 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 oh. Psychosis wow. just barely ducked out of the way. And Confederate currency on the car. And he's out. And he is at, out. Look at the outstanding job by XPW Security. Outstanding. Outstanding job. He's sitting on a chair. And he's securing the area. Who cares? Psychosis now still himself barely getting to his feet. After the beat. Look at this. Off the rope. Psychosis. Oh! Over Tumbleweed right on top. Wow. Look at that. The disregard for his own safety, for his own body. Psychosis. That's just what we call that man. He's psycho. And now these fans chanting as both men still laid out. On the concrete floor, Confederate currency. I mean, he went way up over the top of that rope, and then it was Psychosis nailing him once again. 
on the concrete floor and Scurrency was just barely getting to his feet. But I'll tell you like this, this shows the dedication, the determination, and the sheer will these two guys have to make an impact in XPW. Here we are barely two, three minutes into the match. These guys have already risked life and limb to go at each other. Don't use that word impact too much in this company, Tom. Yeah, especially when angels are in. Right now, both these guys still on the concrete floor. Wait a minute. Tried to whip him into the to the ring apron, but can better currency with that agility. Oh, look at that springboard! Oh. Beautiful moonsault right on top of Psychosis. And Hamrick landed on his feet after that incredible move. The agility on this guy, he surprises me every time I see him wrestle. Myself. And look at this. All my homies, all my essays from East Los giving this giving this Southern Confederate high five. Very rare to see in Los Angeles. Nonetheless, it's psychosis with the clothesline, but a duck under from Confederate currency. Look at it, boot now. Another look at the speed of these two. Chop now from psychosis, sending Confederate currency back into the corner to the far side. No, a reversal. Chest first to the far side. Oh, what a boot that was to the face. Going for the cover now. Referee down one, two, only two. How did he kick out of that? I have no idea. He took that boot flush in the face, Holmes. Psychosis, look, his eyes are a little glassy, man, look. A little glassy. Wow. Look at this now. Upstairs, Confederate currency now. And listen to these fans. One, two, the fans counting along here. Going to way, going to work. On the head of Psychosis. And Psychosis, he thought his eyes were glassy then. What about now? Wow, Hamrick is just in control of Psychosis. Again, I am surprised at the outcome so far of this match. Wow. And, and look at that. Psychosis just ran right in that elbow, but he's charging back. Baseball slide. Baseball slide. Oh, look at that. He's groin. No. He got pulled right out of the ring and onto the concrete floor. Psychosis just bounced back from that one. Psychosis better watch it with these fans. Oh, watch out. Ron look head at that. Ron Head. His chair was taken away from him. Luckily, he's got those phone books under the table that he always sits on. Oh, right to the back. Psychosis wailing away now to the back of Confederate currency for Samrick with that steel chair. And it's like Psychosis has no respect for these fans anymore. Last we heard from Mexico's most wanted. They're demanding respect in this company. Oh, look at that, right into the security railing. Confederate currency now taking it. Taking it throughout this match. He's taken a lot of punishment in this entire match from Psychosis. Well, I gotta say, this match has been pretty even. Both these guys dishing it out and taking it at the same time. What a kick by Psychosis. Flip, Hamrick, upside down. And Hamrick is literally been, oh! been turned inside out. Head over heels, man. Look at this, Psychosis getting ready. Baseball slide drop kick. And again, Confederate currency goes down against the security railing right outside here on the ring area downtown Los Angeles. Grand Olympic Auditorium, it's XPW's genocide. And this is XPW action at its best. You know what, the ref may be out there telling them to take it in the ring, but I don't hear a 10 count. You see that because XPW is just that, extreme pro wrestling. Look out, look out! Oh, God, did you see that, Chris? It's not XPE, is it? XPW. It's XPW still, right? Absolutely. You didn't change the, the name? The only thing that's changed name around here is me, buddy. Juan Castigo. Oh, just when I forgot you had to me, remind me, dude. What? Getting back to the action now. Well, once see. again, you can see referee Hernandez now counting both men down as both men are now. Laid flat out on the concrete floor. Referee Hernandez now looking at both men in concern. I think both these guys very, very hurt, really taking it to each other. But you got to admit, Chico, or should I say Rico Suave, this has been a very, very even match. It's like flipping a coin, which I'm going to be doing a little bit later on. Better not screw that up. Screw that up. You, you can screw something else yourself, pal. Hey. A is for horses. Getting back to the match here, Psychosis now in control. In control of Hamrick, and look at Hamrick. Counting lights flat on his back. Looks like it's over. Looks like he's ready for the mortuary. That's look at it, this. Man. Count it. One, two, three. Let's go. No! Confederate currency with another breath of wind. Just barely kicked out on that one. 
And look at this, Psychosis arguing to referee Hernandez, and I thought that was three for sure. Uh, you know what, I thought it was three too. I say, I think uh, maybe Psychosis is thinking that Patrick might be a little slow on those counts. Well, that could be the case, but nonetheless, Confederate Currency just barely snuck out the back door with what force of energy, I have no idea. But once again, it's Psychosis very frustrated in this point of the match with a stiff elbow right to the head. And once again, Confederate Currency very groggy. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold. Just what he needs now. And this has got to put the lights out for sure for Currency. No, confirmed. Confederate Currency coming out of it. Look at this. Oh, belly to back suplex. Very nicely executed from Psychosis. Now going for the pin again. One, two, and he kicks out again. I am so impressed with these two guys going counter for counter. The reversals. These guys are going at it tooth and nail. Unbelievable. Hamrick just got dropped on the back of his head and neck. I, I, I can't even, I don't even understand how I kicked out of that count. An unbelievable match. Speaking of nails, you got to clip yours, Rico. Now, it's psychosis going upstairs. And Confederate currency, Chris Hamrick just barely getting to his feet. Look at this. Oh, he was just met by a drop kick off the top rope. Wow, Hamrick being knocked out still had the presence of mind to do an offensive maneuver at just the right time. That was a matter of timing. A split second later, Hamrick would have messed it all up and hurt himself in the process. And boy, did Hamrick need that because if Psychosis would have landed that high risk maneuver from the top rope, I believe that would have spelled the end for Confederate currency Chris Hamrick. But now, it's both men. Whoever gets to their feet first, it's a race right now. And look at this. Wait, Psychosis getting to his feet, but Confederate Currency blocking the punch. Psychosis taking him now from Chris Hamrick. Psychosis goes back down to one knee. And still, Chris Hamrick trying to regroup in this matchup. Another Irish whip coming up. Look at this. Arm ringer, no. Kick to the midsection. What is this? Textbook suplex coming up. No. Reversal now. Counter from Psychosis. Oh, look at that. Oh. Spinning tornado DDT takes Hamrick right down. Where did Psychosis pull that out from, man? I didn't even see that one coming. This guy is incredible. And neither did Hamrick. Hamrick didn't see it coming. One iota. Once again, Hamrick down and out. And now Psychosis saying this is it. This is it indeed. Psychosis, the arguably the most devastating leg drop off the top rope in the wrestling business today. I don't know. You remember Confederate Currency's leg drop we saw in his debut a couple months ago. Oh, wait a minute. Did you see that? Did you see that? Confederate Currency mumbo jumboing the balance of Psychosis on that top rope. And now it's Psychosis suffering it from the hands of Chris Hamrick. Nearly a reflex action on the part of Hamrick. I don't think he knew what he was doing. I think he just stumbled onto the ropes. What's he doing now? At the top, trying to do something with Psychosis. What the hell's going on here? Oh, this is kind of scary. What is that, a suplex? Whoa! Wait a minute, a standing hurricane runner from the top rope. One, two, Hamrick wins! What the heck just happened here? Did you see that maneuver? What balance that took? Unbelievable. And now it's Confederate Currency Chris Hamrick with an unbelievable upset against Psychosis here in XPW. What did I tell you about this guy, Rico? Ch Chico, whatever, whoever you are. Look, I'm going to have to agree with you there. I said that is definitely an upset. Definitely an upset. I did not expect Chris Hamrick to win that one. And now, folks, due to his unbelievable efforts, Confederate Currency Chris Hamrick is now the number one contender for the XPW television title currently held by the TV champ Chaos. But you got to remember, fans, it might not necessarily be Chaos that Hamrick wrestles. Of course, Chaos putting his title on the line along with all the other titles tonight in that genocide match. But nonetheless, Confederate currency Chris Hamrick is now the number one contender for the XPW television title as these fans are giving him the respect he deserves after that unbelievable and amazing and, and I can't believe it what an upset that was win over psychosis I oh, can't believe it homie I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one definitely an upset Hamrick stealing the win away from psychosis in an unbelievable fashion the action was spectacular what a match that was, an unbelievable match. But folks, the night is just beginning here at Genocide. That was only our second match 
and we've got more action to come here at Genocide. So Chris Hamrick is the number one contender for the XPW television title. This means, folks, that on June the 29th, Saturday night in Pico Rivera, California, Chris Hamrick will face chaos for the XPW Television Championship. It is going to be on the line, pal. That's right, June 29th at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena. I guess we can call this officially our first time match. Fans don't go away when we come back. More info on the next show. Stick around. <laughs> Yeah, information? Uh, I need the number for Lizzie Borden, please. Yeah, L.A. Uh, you got an L. Borden? Yeah, give me that number. Okay. All right. 5728? Okay, great, thanks. Oh, gee, should I call her? I'd get in a lot of trouble for this. Ah, hell with it, let's go. No, I bet not. Rob might kick my ass. Black Army might kick my ass. I mean, that's a freaking wife. Ah, uh, let me try. See. Nah, Supreme's part of the Black Army now. He's gonna kick my ass. Ah, <sighs> but I think an ass whooping would be worth it for Lizzie Borden. Ah, let's call. Her. ringing. Hey, what's going on? Do you know who this is? You don't? You don't know who this is? I know who you are. What? No, I don't want to order any Chinese food. Isn't this Lizzie Borden? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Guess that's the wrong number. She's probably, I guess, unlisted, actually, now I think about it. Stupid! 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 Lizzie never like a guy like you anyway. Stupid! God! XPW TV now, a big announcement just came here on the XPW TV set. That's right, via a fax machine. Ticket information, folks! All right, there we go. Oh! Do the honors, pal. I will, boss. You can always count on the old facts of Rooney. Here is the breaking news. Tickets to XPW's next spectacular will go on sale this Monday morning at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Exclusively through the XPW box office. Now, tickets will go on sale later on this month through Ticketmaster. However, if you want to be ringside, you can only get those tickets through XPW. The floor level is reserved for ringside seats and the bleachers are all general admission. So if you want to be guaranteed a seat close to the action, then you'd better get those tickets this Monday. Klaus, let them know how. Of course, of course. But now, you can go and get on the phone right now. Get your credit card ready. Call 818-755-8757. Go to the XPW box office at 11133 Van Owen Street, Sweet Letter D in North Hollywood. Of course. You can go to xpwrestling.com. What a big event this is going to be. Folks, we're going to see fireworks. We're going to see explosions. I mean, this is an outdoor venue. you got to drive to get there, pal. But the explosions are going to be the most pervasive and the most persivalous encounters you'll ever see in the history of professional wrestling. But wait a minute, Chris. Wait a minute. You're forgetting why we're going to have all the explosions. Why we're going to have the pyrotechnics. One reason, buddy, one reason, the return of Mr. Robbie Negro to XPW. He's going to be there, man. He's going to be there. I'm so excited. Rob Black back with XPW for the first live event since his, his, his unfortunate illness. Very unfortunate the stroke. illness. But damn it, he's back. He's back. And for all the ultimate information, get on the website 24 hours a day, seven days a week, man. That's all the time we have this week. Come back Saturday. For more, XPW TV and more. Fantastico. Yeah, we want to boost ratings. You want to boost ratings? Rico. So. And what kind of tumultuous travesties can we start tonight? I'll be all. 
ultra violence. What? What is up with your belt, brother? You're wearing it like some sort of Scottish sash. Scottish sash. Mel Gibson, Braveheart. My Girl, the very best of the Temptations. An amazing new two-CD collection featuring 36 of their greatest hits, including My Girl. And Ain't Too Proud to Bay. My Girl, two CDs, 36 of the Temptations' greatest hits, just $24.98. And with your paid order, you'll receive the...